Hey guys, welcome to lesson 5 of module 4. In this lesson, I'll be covering the add image. Now, I won't be showing you how to actually set up your add, but we'll go over the image and setting it up with different variations. Now, with this, there's no certain formula or method of actually creating your images. It's just all about getting, you know, a higher click-through rate on Facebook. Um, and you know it just it can be done in any way whatever appeals to the audience however people like the images and you're never going to know what people like until you actually test different images so i'm going to show you a few variations that i tend to use um and i'll you know find an article and we'll set up an image around it and you know i'll show you exactly how to set it up using photoshop and i really recommend you get photoshop if you haven't got it already because it just makes life a whole lot easier and i've been using it um you know since i started this um and it just keeps everything simple and I can't teach any other softwares just because I don't use them so follow my Photoshop tutorial and get Photoshop yourself and you know create your images all right so let's find an article I'm gonna go on my site right now and go mindpackage.com and let's find an article Um okay so this is a new one I've actually got up 10 foods that unclogs arteries in a totally natural way let's get let's take this one okay so 10 foods that unclog arteries in a totally natural way now it's all about arteries here so you know it's not the foods because the foods aren't gonna appeal to the arteries people the things that's gonna you know flick the light of the arteries audience is gonna be when they see arteries they're gonna know it's related to that not when they see food when they see food it's just gonna be related to food and that's you know it's not the right targeting there and you're not you're not reaching your right audience so let's go and google images and find an image okay and this is what you'll do with all your articles you'll find something um let's say it's 10 health benefits of carrot juice you know there's carrot juice there we'll go and google we'll find an image of carrot juice we see coconut sugar is it actually better than regular sugar you know the keywords there coconut sugar we'll go and google and find an image on coconut sugar so let's take our trees and um, we don't want one with diet you know with writing there um none of that see an image like this is good now things to avoid you know body parts we don't want this you can see you can see all the body parts you know facebook's gonna disapprove of that instantly and they will probably ban you at the same time um all right so um you know let's choose an image i actually like this one because it's not actually any body parts you know you're not seeing there are no nipples or anything on here um you know just showing the inside it's showing the arteries and so i'm going to take this image it looks good and um, just copy it don't save it don't you know long this process out um, all you got to do is just copy the image and now you come in photoshop control new and these are the dimensions you will always use when creating an image 1200 by 628 note that down and um, you know put it on your notepad whatever save it somewhere and every time you create your um ads use dimension what you can also do is on your presets you can actually just save it and i'll call this add images okay so whenever i want to you know create my ad images it'll always be here preset add images and you know that's it so okay and first thing paste that image in there and from here it's very simple here's how we're going to create three variants very quickly i only do three ad images because i don't really think you know where i ever need more um it's enough for testing <coughs> within three ad images if it's not converting if it's not getting you good you know cheap post engagements then you know you you might as well not run that article because three images is more than enough so first thing I do, you know, everyone's going to have their own way of editing their images. There's always a different way you can do it. There's a different approach you can take. There's just so much you can do to an image. But I'm just going to show you my way of doing it and what I always do. And I've been getting consistent results by doing. Um, so first thing is I'd go on image. I'd go on adjustments and then hue saturation. And I'd play about with the color. Um, you know, ugly converts. Ugly images actually attract a, more of an audience um, so original image is just this but let's make it a bit ugly by you know doing crazy colors green and purple one of my favorite combinations I always do green and purple so I'm gonna stick with green and purple there you can play about with saturation increase makes it brighter and um, decrease obviously makes it dull um, so I'm just gonna leave that there play about with the lightness and you know that's it now that alone is a variant so I would go and I would save this somewhere. So let's just go on. Let me just go on ads, okay? And I will save this as 
Archery's one. Now I make another layer over here and I'm gonna add a border to it. So I'm gonna add a purple border because if I was to do green, it would blend in with the image because the majority of it is green. But if I do purple, it would actually stand out. So I'm just gonna choose this purple over here and get the paintbrush. You know, you can even create the border however you want. You can do it using rectangles or you can do it the way I do by doing paintbrush all in, you know, along the sides. So there you go, you know, just get your border set up and boom. To get a straight line, if you know you're new to Photoshop, you just hold shift and then you can just paint down and it get whatever direction and it'll do a straight line. Okay. And there you go. That's a variant two. So I would call this R trees two. And then the final thing I would normally add on my you know ads is a bit of text. Now the Facebook has, I think, is a 20 or 25 percent text rule, so you can't have more than 20 or 25 percent of text on the image. So I just keep it simple. I just add in a title, and that would normally be the keyword. So on the coconut sugar article, I would add in the word coconut sugar. If it was a carrot juice article, I would write carrot juice. If it's arteries article, I would write arteries. Um, you know, common cancer myth, I just write com um cancer myths. Um, scientists can now make leukemia cells kill each other. I would just type in leukemia and um, you know just get the keywords and throw them in so let's get the word arteries and my favorite font is myriad pro because it just is quite bold and it stands out and um, set that to bold yep and you know you want you just want to get a color that stands out normally the one that does the job for me is white and um, I'll get white and then I'll just put in um, a stroke on it so to get you know if you you create your text go to the bottom fx and you can play about with the text to make it stand out more so i'm just going to do a nice little stroke on it and then a drop shadow because it makes the text pop out a little bit and let's just you know get that there perfect do that on full and over here you can play about i mean if you want a different color you don't want you know you don't want the you know white so then you can add in let's say green but you know all of these colors seem to blend in because the image is green the image is purple Um, you know you, you you're better off with white so what i'll do is i'll do a light shade of green <coughs> and i will place this text wherever as i said ugly convert so you can just have your text placed anywhere um you know as stupid as it looks it will probably do the job but I'm just gonna place it in the corner here another thing you can do is just if you press ctrl T you can resize you can change the angle of it and you can just you know place it somewhere like this Um you know just like that and I'll place it there okay and that's it I'm gonna save image and that will be art trees 3 now you know that's how simple it is within five to ten minutes you can easily create yourself three ad variants just by you know getting a base image and then the second one adding a board and the third one adding an uh, adding some text you don't want to go too deep on your images you don't want to try one with no border one with no color one with color one with border one with text one with text and border one with you know it goes on and on you could cr literally create a hundred variants and it's very very easy to create but you'd be wasting your time you only need three um, variants and that's it it's more than enough to roll with um but yeah i mean that's it for this video if you do have any questions any complications you know you get confused at some point just pop it in the group and i'll look forward to helping you out or someone from the group will get back to you and help you out there if you have any difficulties with photoshop you know you can quickly turn to youtube and everything is there all right that's it for this lesson i'll see you in the next lesson